Space Station, along with former Richmond Spider. Okay. Well, joining us now from the International Space Station, former Richmond Spider and NASA astronaut Leland Melvin. He is joined by Commander Charlie Harbaugh and Bobby Satcher. Leland, let me start with you. Great to have all of you here on Sports Center. What part of Earth are you orbiting, and describe what it looks like. Well, uh, we're in Node 2, and I, I can't look out of a window right now, but uh, if I had a computer, I could see where we're orbiting. But, you know, I've seen all of the Earth as we've gone by every uh, 90 minutes, and it's just gorgeous. And I can't wait to come over Richmond when they play Women Mary on uh, Saturday. So I hope I can look down and see the game. That's great. You're still up to date on who you're playing, your alma mater. Uh, either one of the three can handle this. Uh, in layman's terms, what is the role in all your roles in this mission? Sorry, uh, I'm a mission specialist, and my role is uh, primarily EVA, which are spacewalks, and uh, operating a robotic arm. I'm also the crew medical officer. Uh, Charles here, or Scorch as we call him, is, uh, is of course the commander, so he is uh, responsible for flying the shuttle and landing it, and uh, of course he got us here safely, and uh, also he basically just has to know everything about every system in the orbiter and uh, and uh, also monitors everything that we're doing and make sure we get it done correctly. And then uh, Leland is also a mission specialist. He's our robotics expert. He has uh, <coughs> a lot of time on the robotic arm and uh, basically is, is also supervising all of us with that. He's also responsible for all the computers on board and uh, a lot of the transfer operations. Leland, I know you're a big sports fan. How do you get your sports news up there if you're able to? Well, we do get our news up here. We have our, our uh, people on the ground send us up email, news of the day, and uh, I haven't had time really to look at much of that since we've been so busy. Yesterday, Bobby was out the out of the uh, airlock doing his first spacewalk, and I was flying him around on the arm, and we had a very successful day. So maybe tonight I'll get a chance to look at some of the news and see who's winning and who's been traded and who's been fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As a highly educated crew, and you're, if you're NFL fans, fourth and two, your own 28, do you go for it or do you punt? I think we're kind of divided. <laughs> Looks like Leland wanted to go for it, though. He's no guts, no glory is what we think of it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go for it. Guys, what do you miss most about being up there and missing down here on Earth? Well, it's really tough. You know, we're, uh, uh, for us, we're here on an 11-day mission, and, uh, you know, everything is a, is a new experience. Everything is fun. Everything is action-packed. There's uh, always new and great things to see. Uh, we also have the long duration crew of uh, six crew members here that uh, have spent a lot more time. And, uh, and I think even to the, whether it's expedition crew or shuttle crew that's doing a, a quick mission, I think there's always interesting things going on. Uh, no matter where you're at, you, you make the best of every situation and every place you're at. And, uh, you know, we miss, we miss our families and, uh, and uh, our close friends back home. Yeah, at the same time, we have a family here and a, and a team that we work with every day. So uh, it's, it's exciting either way. We, we've, uh, we've enjoyed it both ways. All right, Commander Charlie Hobaugh, Bobby Satcher, and former Richmond Spider Leland Melvin. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. It was really a pleasure talking to you. Go Spiders. Atlanta ISS, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the ESPN Sports Center portion of the event. Please stand by for a voice check from BET News. Atlantis ISS, this is BET News. How do you hear me? Right. 
We have you loud and clear. It's a pleasure to be talking to you. Well, thank you. Um, I have a couple questions for uh, Dr. Satcher and Mr. Melvin. And can you two briefly describe what your roles in this mission are? Hello, um, I'm uh, Mission Specialist One, and I'm in charge of uh, the computers on board, uh, all of the uh, space space station robotics. And when I when we go back to land, I'm going to be doing uh, MS2, Mission Specialist Two, which will help on the flight deck, helping us get back to the ground safely. Sorry, I'm <laughs> Mission Specialist 4, and uh, my primary responsibilities are EVAs, which are spacewalks, and I've also done some robotics activities, and I'm the crew medical officer. And have you had any challenges so far? <laughs> well, yeah, I think, uh, you know, this is my first time uh, being in outer space, so... Uh, the adjustment is always uh, an interesting thing to go through the uh, first time. And uh, also, this being my first time here is my first spacewalk. So, uh, you know, a lot of uh, anticipation. And, uh, and uh, fortunately, the spacewalk actually went very well. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, it's uh, a very new experience. I'm enjoying it very much. Um, and uh, I'll uh, let Leland fill you in on some of his challenges. Well, this is my second time in space, and uh, you know, when you, in it, whenever you fly off the planet in a high-performing vehicle, you have a lot of very dynamic things happening. And uh, you know, getting to space this second time, we uh, we we got up here in eight and a half minutes and had to get right to it. You know, getting the uh, orbiter transformed into our home and then uh, getting prepared for the spacewalk that Bobby talked about. So all the systems, all the things getting ready, having your body adjust to the uh, zero-g zero environment is always challenging, you know, trying to get your space legs down. But uh, we all did it, and we, you know, successfully pulled off that first EVA, and we're looking forward to the next one tomorrow. And I have to ask both of you, there are so few African-American astronauts in the program, and this is the second time that we're seeing uh, two African-American astronauts up in space at the same time. So the two of you are just, you know, fulfilling your goals and dreams. Like, how does it feel to be a part of history in doing that? Well, you know, it's very exciting to be part of history and, you know, being here with all my my brothers here. Um, but, you know, we need more people that look like, you know, Bobby and I that have, uh, not that look like us, but are like us, that have exploration in their minds, determination in their hearts, and want to be uh, people that explore the, the universe and explore the oceans. And I, it's not just that we're African Americans, we're people that are interested in science and technology and other things like that. So we need more people at NASA in general that have that same inquisitiveness. And, you know, it's an honor to be, you know, you know, one of the few African Americans that have been selected to the program. But I think it's, you know, all the people that are within NASA that make this program so great and the diversity that we have, you know, in the International Space Station, there are, you know, Russians, Germans, French, people from all nationalities, religions, cultures that make this one family together to explore the cosmos. And I think we all, with that diversity, make this happen. And my last question. Yeah, I would add that. Uh, Sorry, please go ahead. I was just going to add, uh, we're, there are five African-American astronauts in the Corps right now, but there's been many before us. Uh, there have been a total of 20. Um, actually, the current administrator is a former uh, astronaut, uh, Charlie Bolden. And, um, uh, basically, the main message that uh, I try to to you know get to to all kids is that really you can do whatever you want, no matter what your background is. Uh, basically, just stay focused. Uh, you know, work hard, try to be the best at whatever you're doing, and uh, really anything's possible.